I'm Miss Lewis, and this is my seventh grade math class over at Moody Middle School. Today we are going to do theoretical and experimental probability. All right, so uh, hands up. Who can tell me the difference between theoretical and experimental probability? The volunteers, please. All right, Saida, tell us something. All right, theoretical is what should happen. What else? Caesar? Experimental is what you think should Close. Help him out. Experimental. Nigel? What happens in the experiment? What happens in the experiment? What are the ways that we write our probability? What are those three ways? Nigel? Yes. Sir. There you go. Decimal? How else? Percent. Percent. Very good, Delilah. Percent. What else? There you go. So for both of these, we can write the probability as a decimal, as a fraction, or as a percent. OK? So at your tables, you have calculators for a reason. Hands up. If our fraction is 3 fourths, how do we figure out the percent using our calculator? If our fraction is 3 fourths, how do we figure out the percent using our calculator? You want to tell us? Go ahead, Saida. 3 divided by 4. Somebody at your table, punch that in. Leah, what is it? 0.75. So we got 0 0.75. What's the percent, folks? Everybody? Good job. So today, in your activity, you are going to predict means you're going to find the theoretical probability of your event. You can write that as a decimal, a fraction, or a percent, or you can write it as all three. Okay? Your calculators are there to help you, so one person can do the calculator, or you can shuffle the roll. Then you are going to do the experiment, OK? The experiment is going to tell you how many times. And I believe all of these are going to do our experiment 12 times. Questions? OK. You are going to get your paper. And at the top of your paper, we are going to start with the coin experiment. So take one and put your name on it. Somebody lost a pencil. Everybody got one? Extra. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, go ahead, name it at the top. So our very first experiment, we are going to flip a coin. So prediction, if we have a coin, then you're going to get one in a second, theoretically, what is the probability, hands up, theoretically, what is the probability that your coin will land on heads? Joel? 50%. 50%. How do we say that as a fraction? Everybody? One half. One half. Theoretically, what is the probability that your coin will land on tails? 50%. 50%. Very good. Which is what fraction? One half. One half. So at the top, with the prediction, you all are going to write in the prediction box either the fraction, the decimal, or the percent. All right, let me show you. See at the very top where it says predict? Up here, you're going to write, and we are looking at, it says the percent that it will land on tails. And we just said that was 50%. So go ahead and write 50% in the box with the coins. Yep, right there, right there. Yep, perfect. At the top. Thank you. At the top in the bottom. Oh, not right there. Right here. Over here somewhere. Wonderful, wonderful. Good job, good job. All right, are we ready? Yes, no, maybe? Ready? Yeah. Talk to me, y'all. Yeah. Okay. You are going to get an actual coin. 
Don't walk up out of here with my money. You hear me? Okay, you're either gonna get a quarter or a nickel. I want my money back. Got it? Okay. When you get your coin, you and your table are going to do the experiment how many times? Twelve times. Good job. You're gonna do it 12 times, okay? One person can be the flipper or y'all can rotate. When you flip your coin, you are going to record your data in the chart. So when it lands on heads, you can put a tally mark. When it lands on tails, you can put a tally mark. Question? Yes, I'll pass out markers. Are we ready? Very good. She labeled what her picture meant. Tell them. 10 total, 12 total, 12 times. Mm -hmm. So where's your point? Heads. All right, flip one. It landed on tails. Heads. Heads. Tails. Tails. All right, hold on. Make sure Christian has it all. Tails. How much you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Erases. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good, very good. Twelve times total. Six total. Y'all got y'all twelve? No, wait, did it? Did it? This is it. Uh, now we gotta wait till the next one. So what would this say? Oh. Oh, wait, so what? Oh, I'm done. Hold on. Yeah, we put the tally marks right there. So I hear the coins have stopped. So once you have your tally marks, what's the next step? What does it say? One, two, three, four. So you and your table mates need to figure out the percent for tails. Oh, y'all have oh, y'all had some interesting data. All right, so go ahead and get a percent for your tails. So don't we do this one? The fraction for tails. One, two, three, four, five. Out of how many? So let's write that down first somewhere. Five out of 12. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this one is yours. It, it happens. So you have five out of 12. Okay, so tails, what was your fraction for tails? Four out of how many? Write down four out of 12. Okay, so we just need two place values, right? So what are we gonna write? How much percent? Very good, 33%. Good job. All right, what do we have here? So what was your fraction for tails? Uh, it was, my fraction, it was eight out of 12. Very good, very good. Just stay with here, what was your fraction? So your original fraction for tails, we just want your question for tails. So tails you have, y'all have, tails, tails, eight twelve, and then you got to change that into a percent. All right, fraction for tails. How many times did it land on tails? Five times out of how many total? So let's write down five twelve. And then figure out the percent. All right, I'll give you one more minute to finish that experiment and to get the percent for tail. Five twelve to give you that. Let's divide and see. Well, you, you're missing a few digits. We see the four, but what do we see behind the four? Okay, so we're gonna change this, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, hands up. That was shorter than a minute, but hands up. Five. All right, so your table mates and get a percent. Okay, who in here, which table, 
which table did your theoretical percent, I'm sorry, did your experimental percent match your theoretical? So remember in the beginning, we said it was a 50% chance. When you did the experiment, who had exactly 50%? This table here, anybody else? Wonderful, which means if they had 50%, what was their fraction? Before you simplified it? Oh. Six out of what? Six out of 12. All right, hands up if your experimental was less than your theoretical. Hands up if your experimental was less than. What was your percent? 33%. 33%. 41%. Anybody else had less than the theoretical? Okay, so that means my last three tables, yours was greater than the theoretical? Yes. What was your percent? 66%. 66%. What was your percent? 66%. What did y'all get? You got it right. You got 41%, so yours is less than. Okay, ready for the next experiment? Okay, uh, I need one person to bring me the coin. I like, yes, I want my money back. Come on now. Money? Huh? <laughs> no, but you know. I might need this for the snack machine. <laughs> All right, next event. Are we ready? All right, second event. We are going to spin a spinner. Okay, I actually have some for you. Well, I have five, I don't have six. We're gonna make it work. Um, looking at the picture of the spinner, theoretically, what are your chances to land on, what letter does it say we're gonna land on? C. C. So what's the theoretical probability for landing on C? One and four. One four, go ahead and write that on your paper. Hands up, I need the percent and the decimal for one fourth. 25%. I said hands up, thank you Bailey. 25%, what's the decimal? Delilah, 0 0.25, okay? So in your spinner box, on the theoretical side, we have a 25% chance of landing on C, okay? Now let's see here. Last time, we only had one group that matched up with the theoretical. Hands up if you think this time you have a better chance of matching with the theoretical. Anybody think so? Okay, hands up if you think that your experiment is going to be less than the theoretical, so you're gonna land on C less than 25% of the time. No, y'all think y'all have good odds, okay? Hands up if you think you're gonna land on C more than 25%. Thank you for those of you that voted, you're awesome. All right, are you ready? Okay, I only have five spinners, so we're gonna share between the table. One of y'all come get a spinner for your table? Try not to erase the letters underneath. When a table finishes, we're going to do you. I only have only kind five. Okay, so underneath it's written with a dry erase marker. Okay, so on top, you kind of just flick it with your finger. Okay, how many times are we going to do this experiment? Twelve times. Let's share the roles and responsibilities. If you flip the coin last time, pass the spinner and let somebody else at your table spin. All right, go for it. Okay, how are we doing? Is he the only one that's spinning? Okay, so so far it looks like you have most of the experiment happening for what letter? E. Follow behind what letter? C. All right, we'll keep going 12 times. All right, everyone. Thank you for visiting our classroom today while we learned about theoretical and experimental probability. We are signing out from Ms. Lewis's seventh grade math class, period four. Thank you for watching. Huh?